Hi, this is on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Um, if you haven't watched the um, videos that come before this, then I suggest that you do that for ideas that we explore here. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at diagonalization. Now, a diagonal matrix um, is a square matrix which has non-zero elements only on the leading diagonal. So similar to our identity matrix, um, we're going to have everything as, as zero apart from on the leading diagonal um, and we've, we've got values um, along there. So these are all um, examples of diagonal matrices. So um, I'll talk to you about um, the process of diagonalization. Um, Hopefully um, you've watched the previous video where we found the eigenvalues and go through that again I'm going to tell you what those were. If you're not sure where that comes from then I suggest you watch the um, video before. Okay so um, we worked out that when um, our eigenvalue was 3 our eigenvector was 1 2 1 when our eigenvalue was 1 our eigenvector was 1 4 negative 1 and then our eigenvalue was 2, our eigenvector was 0, 1, 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to consider the matrix that we're going to call U that's going to be made up of the eigenvectors. So each of these eigenvectors are going to form um, a matrix that we're going to call U. And there you go. What I'd like to do uh, work out the product MU um, and I want you to see if you can spot what has happened and maybe try and explain why that has happened so if you can pause the video now and have a go at that okay if you managed to do that what you should have um, got when you worked out the product MU is this matrix here Hopefully you will have spotted how um, this is related to our eigenvectors here. And each of these um, columns here are our eigenvalue multiplied by our eigenvector. So 3, 6, 3 there, 1, 4, negative 1 there, and 2 lots of that is 0, 2, 0. Hopefully you've spotted why that has happened, because these are... Um, eigenvectors, they're um, going to be in invariant lines to the transformation matrix of this. So um, what this is here is telling me is if I multiply this matrix by this eigenvector 1, 2, 1, then I'm going to um, get something that's going to be 3 times further along the line, 1, 2, 1, which would be 3, 6, 3. Um, similarly over here I've got um, well, the fact there's one here so I've, our eigenvalue is one here so um, this will be a line of invariant points 1 4 negative 1 and this here would just be 0 2 0 and because I've put them all together all these vectors together into a matrix and um, when I've multiplied it by this I've just got this here okay um <coughs> Um, what I'd like you to do now is consider the diagonal matrix D, which is just made up of the eigenvalues. So, um, my eigenvalues are 3, 1 and 2. It's important that our eigenvalues stay in that order and we can form this diagonal matrix here. Okay, the reason why they need to stay in that order because they still need to correspond with the order that we had the vectors in. Okay, um, and now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to think about um, what the product UD gives us and, and see if you can describe what happens there. So if you can pause the video and have a go at that now. Okay, so if you have managed to do that, what you should have found is that UD is equal to that there. And what that tells us is that MU is actually equal to UD. So I could write that down. MU is equal to UD. So our matrix that we started with multiplied by the matrix of eigenvectors 
is equal to our matrix of eigenvectors multiplied by our diagonal matrix. If I wanted to rearrange this so it's in terms of, um, well, so I've got my um, original matrix as a subject, then I would need to multiply both sides of this by the inverse of u, um, which would then give me m is equal to u times d times by the inverse of u. Okay, and this process here is what we call diagonalization. I've split my matrix m into um, a matrix of my eigenvectors, my diagonal matrix of my eigenvalues, and the inverse matrix of, of eigenvectors. That's the question here. I've said, when would the um, diagonalization not be possible? So you might want to pause the video and have a think about that. Well, it's not going to be possible um, if if the um, matrix of eigenvectors is is singular. Um, it wouldn't have an inverse. So if the determinant of this was zero, it wouldn't have an inverse. Um, so I wouldn't be able to find the inverse matrix of eigenvectors so um, that would be a special case where it's not possible okay so um, whoops. so wh why is it useful? well imagine I wanted to find um, m to the power of 3 well if I start with my diagonalized version of my matrix M, well then M to the power of 3 would be equal to this here. And if I do U, D, the inverse of U to the power of 3, that's going to be the same as that there. Now you might want to pause the video now and see if you can simplify that for yourself. Okay, if, you, if you've managed to do that, what you should have ended up with, um, well, if you would have noticed that I can rewrite this in this form here, and the inverse of u multiplied by u, well, that's just going to give me my identity matrix, and the same over here, and actually, um, the identity matrix is, is a bit like the number one, I guess, and, and, and we don't need to write it in there anymore. Um, so I'm going to have u d times d times d times by the inverse of u and this d bit here is just going to be d cubed so in fact our matrix cubed is just going to be our um, matrix of eigenvectors multiplied by my um, diagonalized matrix of eigenvalues multiplied by the inverse matrix u Okay, so um, we'll have a look at using this in, in an example. So we had the matrix M, which was equal to this. If I wanted to find M to the power of 4, well, you might want to, um, first of all, see if you can have a go at doing this yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and try that. Okay, if you manage to... Um, have a go at that, what you will have realised is that you um, take your matrix of eigenvectors, you also need your diagonal um, matrix of eigenvalues, and you also needed to have worked out the inverse of U, which is what I've got over here. Okay, so, um, because I want to find this matrix to the power of 4, I'm going to do um, put it into um, this form here and this matrix and this matrix will stay as they are whereas this one I need to take to the power of 4 and if I take this diagonal matrix to the power of 4 I'm just going to get 3 to the power of 4 1 to the power of 4 
and 2 to the power of 4. OK, so writing it out, it's going to look like this. And now what I want to do is I want to find the product of these three matrices. And what I should end up with is this here. OK, I hope you found that useful. Um, and thanks very much for watching. And I will see you again next time.